Next question is from Kathleen Jurgen Simbaleo. Is there any truth that an imbalance in your microbiome can be directly linked to anxiety and depression? Yes, 100%. Mm-hmm. So there's there's two reasons why uh, this is true. And by the way, this has been now, um, studies are showing that there is a connection between the, our microbiome. And microbiome represents all of the bacteria and, and fungi and all the different uh, you know, cells in our body that are not human cells that also that live symbiotically, uh, usually symbiotically with us. So you have a microbiome that's in your gut. There's a microbiome that's on your skin, uh, on your eyes, your genitals, uh, your feet. You know, there's, that, in, in, in fact, if you were to count all of the cells uh, that are human cells and, and compare them to the cells that are in and on your body that are not human cells, uh, they would actually outnumber human cells. So, so we 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 uh, evolved with them. They are definitely a part of our of who we are. So, there's two reasons why a microbiome, you know, what they might call dysbiosis, or you know, it's off. Let's say, could cause you to feel anxious or depressed. Number one, this is a very obvious one. You don't feel good. Okay, so how? Imagine if you were chronically bloated after eating meals, which happens to a lot of people, or you you're constantly battling constipation or diarrhea or heartburn you know, really bad acid reflux. That's obvious. If you have any kind of a chronic health problem, um, you're, it's probably, you're, you're more likely to feel anxious and depressed just because you don't feel good. Okay, that's, an, that's a very easy one. But there's also a, a, a much more direct link. Um, your gut, for example, uh, produces uh, quite a bit of the feel-good uh, chemicals in your body like serotonin. In fact, there's there's all there's the, the second part of your body that has the most serotonin receptors. Receptors are where the serotonin chemical attaches to is in your gut. The first place is your brain. Second place uh, is in your gut. I think the third place is in your heart, which is kind of interesting, right? We've mm-hmm. for for thousands of years we've talked about listening to our our minds, our our guts, and our hearts, which is kind of interesting. And remember, serotonin is that kind of love, feel good uh, chemical. But there's other ones that are produced quite a bit. Uh, by this microbiome. So if it's off, you're probably going to have less uh, potentially of these these kind of feel-good hormones. Your microbiome also uh, is connected to your overall inflammation in your body. Well, systemic inflammation we know is connected to uh, depression and anxiety. When you're just inflamed overall, they find that you, you tend to have those, uh, you know, those types of problems. So it's it's definitely directly connected to those things. It's more of a physical, and then there's this this kind of this feedback loop that happens. So oh, I have, let's say I suffer from digestive issues, that makes me feel bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, the microbiome is off, which also you know directly makes me feel bad. But now I start to feel bad about feeling bad. Now I start to feel bad about why the why the hell am I always bloated? Why am I always feeling this way? Now I feel bad about feeling bad, yeah. and it kind of becomes helpless, and it's perpetual. Yeah, and it kind of it starts to become this problem. So it's definitely connected. Your gut health is a huge part of your overall health. Well, I think that's a. I think you beautifully uh, broke that down scientifically, but I think there's a really simple way to show this or explain this to someone. I mean, have you ever been so scared to get up and do a talk or do something that you threw up or before a big event or a game like that it makes you so anxious and you're so afraid or someone give you the most awful news you've ever heard in your life and it makes you puke? Yeah. I mean, there's obviously communication that's going on. That's all a mind that's happening, right? You're freaked out, you're paranoid, you're scared. That's all stuff that's happening in your head. And if it, if it somehow made you throw up, it, there's obviously communication that's happening there. Yeah, they so, call it the gut brain access, and there's yeah. a direct communication uh, between the gut and the brain, and they're connecting it to all kinds of different things. All and it's kinds a two way street. Moods too, like, and we saw we've talked about this about you know how we visibly see this more like in our children after they eat certain types of foods. What types of behavior like happen as a result if it's like uh, you know a bunch of sugar, a bunch of simple carbs, like you know what that uh, reaction looks like versus like a different type of like a balanced nutrient meal. Uh, you know all these things like it's 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 very visible when when you kind of take yourself. out out of it and look from the outside. So yeah, totally. And again, this is probably going to be in the future. Um, there will probably be future treatments uh, that uh, use gut uh, treatments as part of uh, therapy. I don't know if it'll necessarily be the cure, 
uh, by itself, although in some cases it might be, but I think it'll probably be in combination with other types of treatments because again, I mean, look, I've, I've battled with gut issues for a long time. Luckily for a, a while now, I've had zero issues, but I know when my gut is off, man, I definitely don't feel as happy and as calm. Um, and part of it is just not feeling good. The other part of it is just physically, you know, because there are you, you know there are emotional uh, components to depression and anxiety, mm -hmm. but there's also physical components. You can also have a physical body that just feels down and depressed. This is how medications will treat it when people take an SSRI. It's like they're 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 not fixing the problems in your life, but maybe mm -hmm. it's helping with the physical feeling uh, of those things. 